everybody it is your boy twin plays here back in another video i hope you guys are all doing amazing um so today in this video we are actually gonna be talking about the hand to command version 2 now um i did take a bit to make this it did just take me a whole day um i'm kind of surprised like it took me a few hours but um it should have took me way sooner and later but i tried to do two versions of it and i just totally screwed up but Got this for you, ready for you, and um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. You're probably watching this and you know wanting to get this into your game, so just feel free to watch the video and you'll easily learn how to do it, and maybe you'll learn a bit more about scripting while we're at it. Um, and also while you're at it, join the Discord because we're almost at 2,000 members, and once we hit 2,000 members, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. So um, yeah. So first things first, we are going to go to the description and you're gonna grab the model. Um, you'll see the link, and it should just be this one right here. And you're going to just click this right here and it should say item owned. And once you own this item, you're going to be able to import this into your studio. So open up your studio and um, feel free to go to toolbox up here into your inventory and go to the hand to command V2. Now, um, once you import this, there's going to be a folder and you're going to ungroup this in certain places. So we're going to ungroup this in replicated storage. So I guess I didn't really put that right. And then replicated server scripts. So once we do that, you're going to get rid of these. And we have a few things. So we have a server script and we have the remote event. Now, when I was making this, I did have a little bit of complications. It was, um, I was doing it through a remote function because I was, someone told me on a dev form to do it through there, but that's not a great response, uh, a great way of doing that. It's not a liability because, um, there are some issues from sending a uh, server to client using uh, invoke server. So I had some issues, but I did contact my friend Astro. So he helped me out and, um, I figured it out in the end, but, um, yeah, so what we're going to do, so this is the hand to event in replicated storage. This is what's going to be sending um, our tool over to the player. And then we have the server script. So inside this, um, we have all the scripting. Now, it's pretty easy to use, and um, all you have to change is a few things. So down here in the attribute section of the properties, there's going to be this prefix. Now, if you want your command to be exclamation point hand to, or you want your command to be slash hand to, um, you change this right here. So you can change that to slash, you can do an exclamation point, whatever you like. So I'm going to leave that as exclamation point because that's what I want to start the prefix as. Um, and then all you got to change is your group ID and then the minimum rank. Now this minimum rank is as in saying if you are, let's say you want to have it only for employees above the rank, go to your group and find that rank number and then just type that in. So I'm just going to do one for now just of course. And then we have my group ID. It's super easy to grab. If you guys want to do that, just go to your group and then uh, get the link in the top and that that nine number right there so once you grab this stuff um we're gonna look at all of this now it's it might be a little complicated looking at it first but it's not as bad and um also while we're at it we're going to be looking at this accept ui which is going to be this right here so i'm actually going to just get started and show you this accept ui and we'll go into the scripting in a bit here but um how to customize it's pretty easy you guys um you can just bring it on to starter ui and then just mess with it uh, as much as you like so the accept and decline i kind of made it look pretty good so if you guys want to keep those you can maybe you can change up like the text to something else just change up in the property section you know it's really easy to just mess with stuff um it, it's all up to your liking, you know, whatever you like. So yeah, that's, this is basically what it's going to look like. It's going to say player, the name, would like to send you, and then the name of the tool. It's going to say incoming gift or whatever, and you can change that to like incoming uh, weapon or whatever you want to say, and then it's going to say accept or decline. Now, this script also manages uh, basically accepting the event, and then it'll send it to them, letting them know if they accepted it or not. So um, this was actually recommended by one of my subscribers also. So if you want to check him out, it's AVXRF. He, he knows who he is. But um, yeah, so let's talk about this. We have the player service. We have the replicated storage service. This is what we're going to be using later to get all the players. And then this is what we're using to grab that event. So you change that group ID and that minimum rank. And then we're getting the attribute, the prefix of the script. And then the GUI, which is going to be a uh, script, and then it's just going to be the accept GUI. And we're using wait, child, wait for child, by the way, because we want to make sure this all loads in. So well, how this works is when the player joins the game, we're going to create a new local variable called player. And then once their character is fully loaded in using appearance loaded, we're going to grab their character. Um, you don't really need to do that. I think I kind of just left that in on accident because normally you use characters a lot. But then we have the player chatted. So when the player chats, we get a message variable. And first things first is we are going to check if they're in the group. So we use is in the group um, and we check if they are. And if they are in the group, then we are going to say they are not in the group and they won't be able to do any of this. 
but now if they are into the group oh this says uniform command that's kind of funny um yes yes i use this part of the other one um what's going to happen is it's going to split the message we're going to create an argument variable and we are going to check a few things after checking if they are in the group we are also going to check if they are um in the group but they are ranked above the minimum rank if they are ranked, ranked above it or equal to it then we are going to do all of these stuff so if args1 equals prefix dot 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 hint2 as in saying if they type um as right now it's going to say exclamation point you know hand2 then we are going to do all of this right here so how this works is we have a local function called get player which this is going to be used to get the player um by getting the target player so this is going to be the person we're going to get and we're going to get use the function local function called get player by using the second argument so as in saying if we type exclamation point hand to twin so if we just type that um, this does allow it so it'll find that in the short term so you can you don't have to type in their full name so it will do that find the player and then it will return them so if we get the target of player as in if we it returns the player and it is a player like an it is an actual player object then we're going to print their name i just did that as a way of knowing that we're getting the right player and then we are going to get the target tool by going into our player.character oh see this is where i should have just used char um char and then find first child of class tool as in saying we just grab our players um tool that they're holding in their hands so once they if we do find that tool if we do find that tool then what we are going to do is make a new local variable called new gui and it's going to be that gui right here and we're going to clone it and we're going to set that info by going and making a new new variable getting that info text label and then what we're doing is we're doing player and then we're going dot dot as in we're doing like a space and then target player dot name so we're going to say player um Oh, wait, okay, you know, I think I did target player a little different. Oh, I actually need to use a uh, different name. I need to put the, I'll update that. It actually needs to be saying uh, player.name would like to send you instead of target player. So once we get the player.name would like to send you and then the target tool.name, then we'll basically show that to them. And then we're setting the parent to the target player, player GUI. So basically it's going to show up on their screen. Once it shows up on their screen, it's going to start this part of the process. So... Right here, it's honestly all the same stuff. Um, this time we have the accept and decline button, and we have the accept function and the decline button function. So, dot activated. So this works with mobile, by the way, and I think it works with the console if I'm right. Our thumbstick down. No, probably activated works. It normally works with everything. So what's gonna do is if they click the accept button, it's going to fire the server true, and it's gonna just delete the GUI. So basically get rid of the GUI. So every time they get a hand to a new thing, they're gonna get a new GUI. Um, but that's it. So it's literally gonna send true to the server. Then if they decline it, it's gonna send false. So that's when we go to the remote event right here, and we're gonna check on server event, we're gonna get the variable player and value. If value equals true, as in saying if it returned true, they accepted it, we're going to print player accepted request, and we're going to set that targeted tool as in the tool they were holding in their hand, the other player, and we're going to set it to the targeted player's backpack. So we're basically going to give the player the tool um, that they were asking for. Then if it's false, we're going to say player decline request in the output, and we're going to return to um, just say, you know, that we're going back to the start. So that's about it. It's pretty simple. Um... I hope you guys kind of understand this. It's nothing too crazy. Um, I can actually show you here real quick as well because I wanted to um, test this out for you guys. Um, but basically, you simply just get the tool that you want and um, you grab it right here, let's say. And then I'm going to type hand to and I'm going to say twin. And as of course, right here, we have uh, player twin plays dev would like to send you classic sword and since i'm sending this myself it's different but i hit accept and it says player accept a request and it will it already gave me that tool so if i were to actually do this i actually tried this last time so you can see that it does work for sure hand to twin like this and then i'll actually backspace get rid of that sword and see how it's on the ground would like to send you hit accept and it just gave me that sword so it's honestly really cool how that works so i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial if you did feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn my post notifications feel free to add this to your cafe game by the way and um, get rid of that other version and uh i'll see you guys in the next one